Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be learning Spring Controller in depth. In this video, we will understand Spring Boot Controller or we can say Spring Boot Controller layer. Okay. At the end of the video, you will be learning what a controller does in a Spring Boot, the difference between gate mapping and post mapping, how data sent from controller to the HTML page and how the submission of form works using theme leaf and Spring Boot okay so let's get started first of all we will open our vs code and here you can see the project we have done previously in the previous video okay and uh, let's uh, begin but uh, before beginning i will just explain you what is a controller uh, let's start with basic so a controller is a middle layer that handles incoming http requests and prepares data for the view or we can say for the front end okay uh, suppose you want you have a array and you want to show the array in a html page so we can do this with the help of controller and a model okay so in spring boot we use two types of controller which uh, the one rest controller is used to return normal plain text or json files okay and our normal controller we can use to return html templates okay so let's get started first of all uh, can you guys tell me how to how we can send data to the html uh, uh, i can tell you that uh, let's see with an example okay we will use model object first of all this is our previously done code so we will do changes in these only uh, first of all we will and uh, we will run this okay hello mm, yep done we will first of all run this it's running just uh, we will wait for its completion okay Yep, the I guess the project is run. So we'll just test it. Local host colon eighty eighty slash cs corner. So here we can see welcome cs corner. So let us see that. Suppose we want to send one string. Okay, we'll come to the controller and suppose in this function we will create one string string name is equal to sunita and uh, how do we send this data on this html page so we can do this using model here we will type we will pass model as a parameter and its object okay and here there are two types of model but we will select this org dot spring framework and we will pass this object model okay and here now we can type model dot add attribute and here we it will take two parameters first will be the name we want to pass such as we can say username and the value of the attribute okay and nothing much we will save it and we'll go to our which one is uh, returning test we'll go to our test.html here we will just type one tag uh, we can say span tag uh, here we will just use make we will just make use of a uh, theme leaf so we will type xml ns colon and uh, not xml uh, we'll type th colon text equal to and here we will type dollar sign and in curly braces we will type what name we have passed in the controller here we have type username 
as a name of the attribute so we'll copy it and paste it as it is here in it we'll save it and we'll restart it we'll need to restart the restart its uh, running it's time consuming so i will just tell you one quick tip so we'll do it later on but uh, first of all we will see if it's running or not we'll restart i mean the refresh yep it's showing here sunita the string we have passed from the controller see if uh, we will go to spring dot start dot spring dot io here we will add one dependency as uh, here we have to add one dependency in our pom.xml this is our pom.xml which contains all our dependencies but at the project creation time we forgot one dependency so now we can add it externally also i am showing you how to add external dependencies okay so we we can go to add dependencies and here we will select dev tools we'll select it and here there is a option of explore we'll select on explore and here after scrolling down you will see dependency spring boot dev tools we'll copy it and we can paste it here we'll save it and we will just uh, stop our project from running and we will re restart again it so it will take all the changes yet yeah, it started running now if we do any kind of changes in our code and we save it so we can say sunita rai and if we save it it will automatically get restarted and we know we don't have need to re restart the our application again and again after doing changes suppose here we type mask man we only need to save this and uh, we need to just restart it we don't need to restart the running of our application okay this is a very good trick for uh, doing changes and let's uh, get on to our topic of controller and like this wise we can pass our string or any kind of array to the html pages so now we can go on the difference between gate mapping and post mapping and also here we can also use request request mapping request mapping and this can also work wait a second yep this is also working but uh, suppose we want to send data to our html file we only we will use get most of the time the most commonly used two types of mapping are get mapping and post mapping so we will try to learn the difference between get mapping and post mapping using one example of form okay so we'll create one form here so we'll create one gate mapping again we'll give path as form path or url we can say string user string and we can give any kind of name to the method i'm giving show form and here we don't need any kind of request parameter we only need a model control space model model and in here it will return one return our test test html template only and here we are uh, just only showing we don't need here model okay let's check if it is created or not yep it's created so now we can go on test.html here we will do some changes we'll create one form tag 
here we will give input type is equal to text and uh, type is equal to text and name will be input one we can close this we'll copy it same and uh, sorry this one would be same the but only the name will be changed and here we'll add one button type is equal to submit which will say submit we'll save this and check if it's work showing yes it's showing and here we can say i guess we could make it in t okay and uh, here uh, we need to set method is equal to post now we are going with post when the button is clicked the post method will be activated or triggered okay so and the action attribute action attribute we say you go to result it will go on the result url we have not created controller for this so we'll create it later on for now let's check okay now we'll create one controller um, okay we'll create only here only we'll create now at this time we will create post don't worry i will explain just it's uh, let it be run uh, slash result and here method name would be handle form we can give any name here we need request parameter request parameter string the type of the data we need to fetch or request and from the html page and uh, name of it like input one comma request parameter string input two here we'll just create one another string result which will be input one plus input two and we'll pass it again to the ah and here we need a model also so model model and here we will just model dot add attribute and uh, we'll give name it as result and i guess it will return one new html template result here i have already created result you can see there's nothing fancy it's the normal code here we are doing the same we are taking string from the controller and here it's not name it's result and oh sorry we don't need it we'll just type hello the result is span th colon text is equal to dollar result 
and we'll close our head tag okay so let's check if it's working or not we'll type here sunita rai and click on submit hello the result is sunita rai it's concatenating both the strings and printing it as you can see here the code now i will explain you how it's all the working okay so first of all add this here add get mapping from form add this url it's only returning the test the test is consist of only the form tag okay after filling up the details like input 1 and input 2 when we click on submit button it will go on result using post method okay for post method and result we have created this in this request parameter is used to retrieve parameters like input fields from html page and we need to say our uh, which type of data we are fetching so here we are fetching string so that's why we have written string and input one means the name of the input field such as in the test file here there are two names input one and input two which we are fetching it controller okay and model is used to again so send data to the html file okay so here we are concatenating and sending it to the result while model dot attribute we have gave new we have gave name to the attribute such as result so in the result dot html here you can see we are fetching it result if we give other name in test dot controller such as not result but uh, full name okay we will save it and we go on the result section we also need to write here also that not result full name full name okay we save it and we will just refresh and sunita sunita rai and click on submit yep it's showing see it's really easy guys now you got the difference between gate mapping and post mapping i will just conclude the difference okay so when we uh, so suppose you wanna give you wanna take input in html like you want to pass some type of array or some type of string from java code to this html page so we will use gate mapping and suppose you want to submit a form and you want to take the values of input fields so we will use post mapping okay and for uh, retrieving the input fields there is a annotation at the red request parameters okay till now everything is clear okay so that's all for this video in the next video we will learn about services layer in spring boot and if you guys have any kind of doubt so you can ask in the comment section okay that's all for the today so guys if my video has really helped you don't forget to hit on like button if you have any query you can put in comment box or you can send me on my ig also i will surely reply to your queries and guys if you really like my video do share with your friends so that they can also be benefited with this video and very important for me guys is your subscription if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit bell icon to receive notifications from my channel Guys, I'm there on different social media. All my social media handler is given in description box. You can join me or follow me there also. I'm sharing lots of PDF and notes on my Telegram channel that too freely related to interview and study material. You can join that. And guys, my um, website is also mentioned in description box. You can check out for notes and everything. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video. Till that, bye-bye. Take care. Keep watching and keep learning, guys.